do 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 What's up guys? Um, today I wanted to talk to you about what I take with me for coffee on the go. I typically take, I have my AeroPress, burr grinder, and then this is my go-to travel mug for the AeroPress. Coffee beans, filters for the AeroPress, accessories that come with the AeroPress, um, some of the things that you would need to so you've used it, so I made some coffee. Just, it's pretty much what I keep in the bag here. This little bag, in case anybody is wondering, it's just like a military tool bag. Uh, I think I got it on eBay for, I don't know, like 10 bucks or something. I pretty much leave this stuff in it. Uh, if I want to make coffee at home with it, I'll pull it out. And at home, I use the Chemex. I don't really use this that often at home unless I'm in a hurry. Just kind of talk about this stuff for a little bit. So let's talk So let's talk about the AeroPress itself. The AeroPress is, I mean, it, it's just a pretty durable, easy to carry way to make great coffee. It, it's good to use it at home. I know a lot of people that this is just their go-to coffee maker. For me, it's my, you know, go-to travel maker. I normally brew in my AeroPress inverted. I vary my AeroPress recipe quite a bit. I almost always brew inverted unless I'm in a really big hurry. Typically if I'm in a really big hurry I just throw this in the bag and I go to work and I'll make coffee when I get to work. If you don't really know what the AeroPress is you are missing out. It's just a really easy way to make delicious delicious coffee. This thing is the true hidden gem for to me for the AeroPress user. This is the, um, I think it's Contigo is how you say it, the Bueno. I did buy this at Target. I think it was like seven or eight dollars or something, but what makes it so great is if you've ever used an AeroPress, you know you're gonna rinse that filter and this fits perfectly right in the top of this cup so you can rinse your filter and you can also preheat your cup. It just sits nicely right on the um, threads for the lid so it doesn't actually fall into the cup. You can just drop it there, rinse your filter, preheat your cup, and then you've got your AeroPress getting ready to brew to. This, I, I pretty much don't AeroPress without this. Next thing is the grinder. If you have a grinder at home, um, or if you're looking for a grinder, I would definitely always recommend some fashion of a burr grinder. I do actually have an electric blade grinder, which I hate because it's com very inconsistent. I bought it because it was cheap and I really actually don't use it that much. I normally actually end up manually grinding with this, which I've used so much that um, actually broke this handle off, uh, the wheel off the handle and managed to get it back on there. Kind of rigged it up a little bit, but it works. I bought this thing for, I believe, 10 bucks on Amazon. It's okay. It's, it's not that great. I do plan on getting a better one. It is great because it does fit into the AeroPress. If you wanted to maybe take this thing camping or something like that and you're more concerned about the saving of space in your bag. What you're gonna want in a grinder is you're definitely just gonna want it to be a burr grinder. Like I said, the problem with the uh, blade grinders is they're inconsistent in the way they grind their beans. Some parts are extremely fine, some parts are extremely coarse. The other problem with great blade, uh, blah, 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 blah. the other problem with blade grinders, especially the electric ones, because of the speed that they spin in, they can actually roast your beans a little bit, which will alter the way that your coffee is going to taste. Another great AeroPress accessory is the AeroPress Timer app. I don't really ever use the AeroPress without this. What this app is, is it's a collection of AeroPress recipes. Most of what you will hear negative about this is there's a lot of people that want to put 
and save their own AeroPress recipes. I don't really, there, there's enough recipes on here and enough variations that I don't feel the need to um, save something that I've come up with. Most of the recipes on here come from the AeroPress World Championship. It does have the championship pack. Um, it's got some standard recipes. It's got two cup recipes, roaster packs. My personal favorite is the blue bottle recipe. And kind of the way the app works is you'll pick what recipe you'll want and then you hit start timer. It'll walk you through the pouring, the stirring, steep times. And you can actually hear that'll signal, you know, going into the next step. Very wonderful, very helpful app for anyone that does use an AeroPress. So yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. I just kind of wanted to do like a quick overview of like what I carry with me on the go um, to make coffee. The one downside that I kind of neglected to mention about this bag is it has this, this like hard wooden bottom almost, or maybe a thick plastic, I'm not sure, but um, it, for portability purposes, like if you were to put this in another bag, maybe it's not going to be quite as compact as another bag type of style. I mean, you could probably even throw all this in a small toiletry bag if you wanted. But we're going to do future videos. We're going to do brewing methods with the AeroPress. We're going to do brewing methods with the Chemex. We're going to talk about coffee beans. We're going to talk about coffee origins. We're going to explain how that you can make good, delicious coffee at home fairly easily and we'll teach you how to do it consistently so that every time you make a cup of coffee it'll taste the same as your last cup of coffee. So guys, just remember to go out there, be awesome. You guys have a good day. Subscribe. We'll see you next time. The reason that they maybe don't like coffee is because they've been preparing it like crap for years.